Hey guys, what's up? It's Mokozonki. Welcome to Binding of Isaac, and we are going to start a another run. And unfortunately, I locked Eden because I got a really, really, really bad spawn with Eden. And I did not realize this, but actually, if you try to play Eden and then you um, quit a game or fail a game, then you can't play him again until you unlock Eden again. And I'm not completely sure how you do that still to this point, but. Anyway, I can't play as Eden right now. I'm gonna have to unlock him again. I didn't real. I got like a terrible, terrible starting items and stats. So I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm gonna restart. But now Eden is locked. So hopefully I'll be able to unlock him again sometime soon. But in the meantime, we're going to play with Judas. I'm really hoping I didn't completely screw myself over with that Eden thing, and he's like really, really, really difficult to unlock again. But I'm not really sure how it works. So hopefully that will be revealed in the future and. I can play as Eden again, because I'd like to. Oh, a new item. Okay. Let's pick this up. Some kind of baby. Mongo baby. Mongo friend. Not really much of a description on what exactly this Mongo baby does for you, but it looks like he fires along with me at, like, the same speed as I do. Maybe that's what he does. That would be a cool special power, because it seems like a lot of these guys... A lot of the um, firing familiars fire at, like, a really slow rate. Mr. Mega appears in the basement. I'll take it. I'll also take this so hard. Tinder rocks are very, very important with Judas. Ooh, crazy flies. Because, unfortunately, I will not be able to free that um, previous key that I saw behind a rock. But, um, yeah, soul hearts are really important with Judas because he has such low starting health that you want to take the extra health wherever you can get it. And soul hearts are probably one of the easier ways to get it, at least earlier on in the game. It would be cool if you had, like, a familiar that increased in damage and fire rate with you. Maybe Mongo Baby does that, I don't know, but if he did, that would be like one of the greatest things ever if a familiar did that. But it does look like he fires quite a bit faster than your typical familiar, which is pretty cool so far. So I'm liking him, I'm liking the fact that I picked him up. Of course I will hopefully eventually know just completely by heart what every single item in this game does, because I was pretty close to that point with the, the original Binding of Isaac, but um, we'll see. It's going to be a process to get there, obviously. At least I'm getting keys this run. The last run that was not shown to you guys did not have very, very many key drops, so that was kind of a struggle. Book of Belial is charged already, so whenever the boss fight wants to reveal itself, and hey, on cue, here's the boss fight. And a Tinted Rock as well. I'm, I'm seeing that, so as long as I get a bomb drop this floor, I will be back for you, and we're going to go with Monster as our second boss, and hopefully a health upgrade as our second boss item. That's the ideal, anyway. And I'm shocked, Monster has a lot of health, but I seem to be doing some really good DPS, and Mongo Baby seems to be making a noticeable difference with the DPS as well, which is great. So we will take uh, Blue Cap, HP, and Tears Up, and Shot Speed Down. That's like the best item ever. And we'll go ahead and open up this deal with Devil, which does not have any items in it, but it does have three red chests, which actually might be a better... Oh, we got a deal with Devil, Teleport, and Devil Room. Bad trip. Oh, that sucks. But as long as this is balls of steel, it's fine. Oh, health up. Okay, so I essentially traded a soul heart for a red heart, which I actually think is puts me better off in the long run because that means more health in the long run to spend on devil deals and stuff like that. So hopefully I will get some more of them and I won't be a noob and lose health. And I will be able to spend some of this health on damage increases, which I would really like to see. I'd also really like to see a bomb drop from this room so I could pop open that tinted rock that I saw deck of cards. I'll take one card, and then we'll stick with Book of Belial. Two of spades. Uh, doubles my keys. I'm going to wait until I use up this key before I use it, though. Oh, I didn't mean to play you. Oops. Oh, well. It happens to the best of us sometimes. So I'm not too phased over it. And if you gave me a bomb, thank you so much. That's exactly what I wanted from you. All I could have asked for, and I'm not going to be looking for the secret room unless I get... A whole bunch of bombs from Wrath, which is entirely possible because he is the uh, the bomb droppiness. I mean, why not use Book of Belial here? You know, it'll be re recharged by my next boss, or might as well speed up this fight a little bit. And he'll give me unlimited bomb uses to a certain extent, anyway, with Mr. Boom, which I will use to blow up this tinted rock, and then I'll be back. So that was nice, kind of worked out. Don't worry, I'm not leaving Book of Belial behind. I know better than to do that, I would think, at this point. I just want it for here. And then we'll use our regular bomb to check for the Seek Room. So, two Soul Hearts puts me in a great situation, because this means I have two Soul Hearts to guard against damage. 
for a Devil Deal next room. And I get the Secret Room as well, which has more bombs in it. So, you know, that starts me off good. Starts me off on the right foot for next floor when I'm looking for the Secret Room next floor. No Tinder Rocks in the Secret Room, even though there's quite a few, so that's a little bit disappointing, but whatever. Move on to the next floor, just grab Book of Belial really quick. And this is like all I could have asked for for starting off a Judas run, other than damage, because you want damage to start off a Judas run because you want to take as much advantage of his extra damage modifier as possible, make sure you're getting up his damage crazy high. But other than that, I mean, you can't be unhappy with all this health I'm getting because Judas obviously does not start off in the best situation when it comes to health. So getting extra health is really, really nice for him. Um, I'm not sure if I should wait till Book of Blyle is recharged to do that room. I think I probably should do that. So I'm going to do a couple more rooms. And then we will do that arena with Book of Belial active. Which will be nice. And I should definitely be able to charge Book of Belial by the time we reach the boss fight. So this room could cause a few problems. But I'm fine. As long as I don't walk on these spikes, I should be completely fine. Two locations for the secret room to potentially be. I'll just use Book of Belial here really quickly. And I should just shred through this room because these are still fairly low level enemies without too much health and book of belial plus judas's extra starting damage is just oh my goodness it's so good so i'm also going to pop this two of spades card really quickly before i like use the key and then forget to use the card and then i run into a situation later on where i really could have used the extra keys so i'll do that only up to four keys you know i could have waited for like one more key and then doubled it but whatever it works bomb out of it two spiders and two troll bombs so red chests seem to be you know they weren't very very good in the previous isaac because it's like most of the time they gave you something not good or negative but they seem to be really really not generous in this version of the game like red chests almost never give you anything good so maybe that's just me though um one thing i could do i suppose okay um, I'm not sure if that's close enough, though. I'm probably going to hurt myself on the spikes. No! Dang it. Okay, well, I'll just try to open it from here and try my best not to be hit by spikes. Okay, awesome. Got a bomb and a key. So I probably pretty much didn't profit from that chest. I used two bombs and a key, and I got one bomb and one key back. But whatever. It works. Oh, okay. As long as these aren't brimstone spiders, we're good. Those are the ones that you really got to watch out for. Oh, I don't want to stick myself in a corner with all of the spiders, but I got my shop here and my item room here. My item room is bad, but I might as well pick it up because I've never used it before. Now it's in my collection. So that's something. I mean, you have to get it at some point. Might as well get it now if you think about it. A picture with two bombs on it. I have no idea what this item would be. Bogo bombs. One plus one boom. I'm assuming that means every single time I pick up a bomb, I get two bombs might be the effect tears up oh thank you that's a great pill um that's really all i could speculate towards what this pill is i have no idea other than that let's try to angle some shots in here so we do not oh take damage against this guy okay that went better than expected really um so i'm interested to see what this bogo bombs item does is it you yeah i think it's worth using two bombs it would be if I have two bombs, so hopefully I get another bomb to make up for the fact that I just wasted one there, unless I get another one to um, actually get that chest. It might be a good idea to look at your bomb counter that is on your screen before you just start like throwing bombs down left and right. Just just a hint for future Isaac run-throughs, and look at Chubb, he's, he's dead. He's already dead. And an angel room! Oh, okay, torn foil. Tears up, and shot speed, can't be upset with that. Three soul hearts. That's a pretty good angel room. I think I would have preferred some sort of item that increases my damage, but hey, you know, I'm happy with that as well. So that's kind of interesting how you can get like the three red chests and devil rooms, which is probably not a very good thing because typically red chests are not that helpful. Um, and then you can get the three soul heart angel room too, so it's not necessarily always going to get you an item. Which is a twist. I'm not really sure if that's a positive twist or not, but it is different. I'd say it's probably easier to earn a devil. Oh, deal this. Oh my goodness, that bomb was so fast. I really could have uh, used some help out on that one. Um, unfortunately, there's no bombs left on this floor, so there's really nothing for me to do other than proceed down to the next one, knowing that I wasted a bomb that I could have used 
checking for a secret room here, but it's whatever. We're still in a pretty good spot at the moment, I would say. Catacombs 1. Heck, let's do it. Ah, Goat's Head. Okay, so I did find out what Goat's Head does. I know a couple runs ago I got it. I'm like, I don't know what this item does, man. It's probably so good, though. And what it does is it gives you a 100% chance for a Devil Ranger room. So, I'm going to be getting Devil Ranger rooms. Oh, no! That room could have gone so much better. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This room, this room, son, is not a good room. Okay, well, I only got out of that. I, I only took three hits in that room. Oh, my goodness. And then I take a hit the very next. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's uh, calm ourselves, collect ourselves. All of a sudden, we went from having a lot of health to not very much health. Like, in two rooms flat, just to taking, due to taking a ton of damage. But that's the thing, though, is Binding of Isaac Rebirth, in my opinion, is a harder game than the original Binding of Isaac. But... With that being said, I also feel like it's a lot easier to get overpowered in this game. So, it's more difficult, but it it's more difficult if you get unlucky, and it's easier if you get lucky, is what I'm saying, essentially. So, we have a leech, a bloodsucker, a bloodsucking buddy, who may end up siphoning health from enemies. That's probably my best bet as to what he does. Oh, so this is like a choice sort of thing. You can only put down two bombs to get two pills. I'm pretty sure that white pill at the bottom is bad, so... Or I could put a pill here, or a bomb here, and get these two. Okay. Works. Health up. Yeah, I really wanted that one. Question marks. Puberty. Why is that a bad pill? It doesn't do anything. And... I can see forever! Okay. Um, reroll items. I do not want to lose this goat's head, so I'm not going to be doing that. Um, I like the items I have. You know, maybe not the best setup of all time, but if the goat's head pays off and I get lucky, um, with devil rooms and all that, then this could be a really, really good, really, really, really good setup. So I do not want to lose that. Um, there are some of those dice rooms that reroll your items, and there's some that don't. I'm not really sure how it works, though. I'm also guessing it looks like the leech runs around and damages enemies, so he's kind of like the bird that you get with Eve crossed with, I guess, Charm of the Vampire? I'm just looking if there's any tinted rocks here. I'm not seeing any as to this point. I don't believe there are any tinted rocks, although I could have missed one very easily and just will forever live in doubt of myself knowing that but it's whatever I'm not gonna worry too much about it and there's our secret room that's what I, I see I can see forever does is it shows you the location of the secret rooms that's a very handy one and an eternal heart that's a very handy secret room and I can of course go back to that one so there's no harm in losing it or running out of the secret room this room is a little bit sketchy it looks like the uh, the tear faces on the wall always shoot in the same direction though they're all going in the same direction. And that makes things a little bit easier to gauge, I would say. Wretched, as I can remember, has like zero health, like literally no health, so. And Leech looks like he's doing a fair amount of damage, too. I appreciate that, buddy. A belt, a speed upgrade is nice. You do need one. Oh my goodness, this item again. The Breath of Life. I found out it makes you invincible when you hold it down to t all tier shots, but. It's, it's not very good because you can't move around and then you can still get stomped on by stuff like mom's foot so generally it's just not that great of an item so I'm gonna pass on that and have I already found my item room this floor oh it looks like I have okay I was just being um, incomprehensible and was not remembering correctly what was in my item room but it looks like we pretty much cleared out everything there might be one or two rooms left but Whatever. I'll just give it a miss. Move on to the next floor, picking up our health upgrade. So we got lots and lots of red hearts ready to spend them on Devil Deals. But the Devil Deals have not occurred to this point. We've just had two angel rooms, one of them which was pretty useless, and the other one which was meh. So, whatever. Necropolis 1. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I heard Mom's voice laughing and what that means is that she has stomping hands 
it's kind of like her stomping feet but it's her hands so that's one thing to keep in you know close consideration i only believe it happens in necropolis and depths though oh that was so dumb i dodged right into his tear but i don't have to worry about not taking red heart damage anymore other than the fact that i have to worry about you know not dying but in terms of devil deals i have the ghost oh that's a brimstone little bro so what what do we do with brimstone bros we do that two spades item multiplier all right, I'll take it. I'm not really sure why that card was red, though. If it was just a two of spades card. It wasn't like some sort of newfangled card or anything, but... We have no issues when it comes to keys, which is always a good thing to be able to say. Hey! Hey! I got a beggar. I'll go ahead and blow all of my money on him. I was kind of hoping that I would get a seek room out of that, but nope. Nope. And... Please? Yes, maybe. I'll oh, have a red heart. Not quite what I was looking for. But I will be back to you if I do manage to pick up any more monies. Oh, there's one. I'll wait a little bit, though. I'm not going to just go immediately back to the beggar. Oh, this room is potentially troubling. Um, it's going to be hard to kill this guy. I don't know if I have like enough range to kill him, really. Oh, there we go. It all worked out okay. My worries were unfounded pass through this room fairly easily. Let's just grab my item room and get out of this floor. I'm not really liking the looks of this necropolis sort of stuff going on. It's very sketchy. So, I don't know if there's that many new necropolis enemies. I'm assuming there are, but necropolis floors have always been the bane of my existence. Dark Boy is like the one achievement I never ever got. I never got Dark Boy and I never got Fate in the original Binding of Isaac. And it was just those two things that kept me. Oh my goodness, I got pulled. No thanks. You know, let's just teleport to the shop. Just to get out of this situation here. Um, but yeah, those two things were the bane of my existence in Isaac 1. And I never achieved either of them. So, so far, I have achieved all the dam no damage achievements in this game other than Dark Boy. That's the only one that's been eluding me to this point. So, um, that, that's going to be interesting if I will end up ever getting that or not. And like fulfilling my lifelong struggle of being bad at Necropolis. I'm not sure. Necropolis is a very, very difficult floor. I mean, I'd say it's far more difficult than the womb to not take damage in just because of the fact that you're typically clearing every, every room in Necropolis and you're not always doing that. Oh, this is a... Uh, wow, this is a crazy room. I'm not really sure why my leech isn't going after dudes. I would appreciate it if you did, though. They're right there, man. They're right there. Leech. Right there. I guess the leech has better things to do. And heal me. Okay, that, that's just, just, oh my goodness, there's too many rocks in this room, which hopefully means that there will be a tinted rock or two in this room as well. And as long as that's the case, I can forgive this room for having so many rocks in it. Oh, blah, blah. looks like I take a full heart of damage from that, or maybe I just didn't notice my last heart of damage that I took because I've been taking so many of them. Is there something left? Oh, I guess there is, a, a bouncing head. Interesting. Oh man, this that room was just killer, son. That's what I'm talking about when I say the Necropolis is very difficult to not take damage in. And uh, probably will never happen in my case, but I'll try my best. I'm not seeing any tinted rocks. I made careful to look at all of them. Oh, this is possibly the worst. The worst. Oh, the worst. How many masks and hearts are there in this room? There's so many. Who designed this? Who thought this was a good idea? Do I need to remind you guys of why I hate Necropolis now? I think it should be very apparent to you. Okay, so there's only five. Oh, there's six. Or five. Yeah, there's six total. So, a giant room with six total masks and hearts. As long as you keep on your toes, though, it shouldn't be that difficult to take care of. So, anyway, this room is not one of my more favorite ones that I've ever seen, though. I can say that with absolute certainty. Got bombs out of it. I'm at a point where I'm going to start to need to get some red heart drops. It's getting a little bit sketchy. I think that's teleport. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to touch it just to make sure it's in my collection now. So I never have to touch that item again. Never will want to. I can guarantee that already. Let's take out that um, green bomb shooting guy because it's probably your priority in that situation, red heart. No tinderbox, eh? It's disappointing. 
Oh, these fires. I believe you can blow these up, and they give you a chance at soul hearts. I believe. Yep, I was right. I don't always get to say the things like that, but I wasn't sure if it was just the blue fires that did that or the purple fires do too, but apparently the purple fires also have a chance of doing the same thing. So that's something important to keep in note. You know, there's not only tinted rocks, there's also, I guess they are tinted fires. Kind of, kind of a blue tint, kind of a purple tint. They're not your typical fire color, without a doubt. Ooh, this is sketchy. Wow, I just barely avoided damage there. That was very, very close. Ha! Get on your knees! Okay, this is gonna be bad. As long as I have enough speed, though, I have had that speed upgrade, so it looks like... We good! And we got an angel room, which so far has been remarkably disappointing. Nun's Habit, um, which I believe restores one thing on your um, action bar now, instead of restoring half your action bar per hit so it has been nerfed but this does mean i could use book of blile more often so that's something i guess get one so hard out of destroying those fires probably kind of waste of bombs but i want to give myself the best possible opportunity of success so that i don't have to play judas again anytime soon oh my dear that is uh definitely what you would call a scream of manliness but, what could you expect? Oh, is there... Nope. Okay, that's the end of that path there. Very anticlimactic end. I must say. Um, I think this is worth a key when I have nine keys. The magician. Well, it wasn't worth a key, but it was worth the gamble. Definitely. I regret nothing. Oh, there's one of those tower guys that pops up his head. But luckily, those are one of the ones where you don't have to wait for him to pop up his head. So it's not that bad. I'd love to get that key, but, you know, thinking about it, I probably am pretty set when it comes to keys right now. And we get another golden key just to reinforce that fact. I don't think you can destroy these fires the normal way, yeah. Mom's knife? Really? Really? You know what? With Mom's knife and extra burnstone or extra Book of Belial uses, I have a hard time saying no to that. And it looks like Mom's knife has much better range than it used to have. Um... So I'm much less apt to kill myself by using it. So, guys, wow. Mom, I've heard that Mom's Knife is really good in this game. I just, it looks like it's that's definitely the case if it has the longer range. Because my only gripe about Mom's Knife ever was just the range part. I'd always get myself into bad situations and kill myself with it. But if it has that range, okay, it doesn't look like it has like the most crazy damage ever like it used to. I believe Mom's Knife was like a two-hit greed kind of item before, so... Maybe its damage has been downed a little bit, but its range has been seriously upped. So, I don't know. We'll probably go with the Fool here. I think that's probably a better choice. Um, There we go. It one-hits the Brimstone Spiders. So, that's... I mean, what else could you ask for my mom's knife? And it does look like, in fact, that item that I bought from the shop um, earlier on is an item that, in fact, does give you two bombs every single time you get a bomb drop. So... Kind of investing in your future sort of item. I would recommend it. Oh, Mom's Knife is going to be very good in this room. With a whole bunch of enemies with rather lowish health all around each other. I'm liking it. I'm liking the new Mom's Knife quite a bit so far. But there's still time for it to mess up. Is this a Tinted Rock? I can't tell. Nope, it's not. And just checking if there's any more tinted rocks on this side of the room. There are not. So that means I can progress on. I've already checked out the item room, so I might as well just head into the mom fights. Might as well use Book of Belial to um, increase my damage a little bit. So I have been struggling a lot with the new mom fight. So let's try to put those past struggles behind me. And come right off here with a very, very strong statement made against mom. In which I do very good damage against her. Um, whole bunch of items. What's this? Death and Master of Lockpicking. Don't know what that does. Puberty. I'll use it just because it doesn't do anything, so there's no harm, no foul. Um, and Mom already did destroy the Tinted Rock that was over here. So we get Guppy's Collar, which has a 50% chance of respawning you when you die with one heart, I believe. Um, 
I'm just going to open up the red chest here and be on my merry way. I don't think either of those two items is all that useful to me. Even though I'm going to have to eventually pick them up just to add them to the collection, but we're in no stretch of the imagination far along enough in the game to be worrying about that yet. Worrying about fulfilling the collection. Maybe in episode like 50, that might start to become a concern, but as things currently stand, wow, that was quite good damage. I was not expecting that, because those, those face dudes, they have quite a bit of health, yet somehow they have less health than a mask and heart. Or maybe I just charged mom's knife a little bit longer with them. I'm not sure. What I am sure about is I can, with some careful maneuvering, make this chest a reality. And let's just back up. Be careful. Oh, sucker. And we got... That looks like Bob's head. I'm going to touch it just to see. Bob's rotten head, reusable range bomb. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my goodness, every single time I try to do that chest, it automatically puts me on the rocks. It's really annoying. Well, I got pretty much gamed two hearts there due to the game. But gamed two hearts by the game. Is this a tinted rock? I can't tell. It kind of looks like there's an X looking thing on it. Apparently not. So that's kind of a troll, but you can tell tinted rocks in the womb now just due to the fact that they have X's on them. Thank you for that soul art. It makes up for some of what you did to me earlier game. Oh, girdlings only take one shot. That is, it's very nice to see that considering how much pain I have been caused by these guys in the past in their larger form. Well, I mean, Boss room already. I mean, might as well go for it. Oh, crap. I brought, actually brought Bob's head with me. I did not mean to do that, obviously. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. I'm pretty sure I picked up Book of Belial again. I guess I didn't, though. Look, his horns have appeared in the basement. Speed upgrade. That's nice. And another angel room with prayer card. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure. We're going to go back and get... Um, my Book of Belial, which I think is a better item than the prayer card. But I better not step on any spikes because I really don't want to lose this eternal heart. Be careful. Slow and steady. Okay, we got through it. Perfect. I'm not really sure how I managed to pick up Bob's head again after I set it down, but whatever. We'll go with it. And that will give me an extra free completely no charge red heart great to see that doppelganger oh they actually hurt you when you walk into them now i kind of walked into them because it used to be the case you could walk into them and it wouldn't damage you but that has been changed there were a few item enemies in the game where you could just oh wow really you're gonna stand on top of me like that that's not cool but um some other enemies were like i think the hives the one that spit flies you could stand on top of them and they wouldn't damage you but the flies would, obviously. Maybe that's been changed, so now all enemies damage you if you stand on top of them. I wouldn't be surprised. Is it, This kind of has like an X sort of thing at the top. That is not a tinted rock. Alright. Good to know. So, I guess tinted rocks in the womb are going to be rather rare. What? We have pin and a bunch of dudes that come out of the ground? I'm not liking the looks of this room. This is, this is definitely a challenge... A struggle without a doubt that's what I would classify this as pin let's not get hit by his ranged bombs and as long as that is the case we should be okay pins dead just have to focus on the little dudes the guys that poke out of the ground I'm not really sure what to call them annoyances that's for certain two clubs I'll just use that right away so I can bring my death card along with me I probably should have used my death card in that room to be completely honest but let's use it in this room instead just to get out of that without causing any more pain. This room would be really annoying if these were the tower guys that aren't red, but the red ones, thankfully, are not so bad. Um, I cannot tell if any of those are tinted rocks, and even if they were, I couldn't get to them, so it's probably best just not to think about it. It's kind of cool, you can, um, you can angle a mom's knife. I'm not sure if this was always the case, but you can go like that, and it angles along with your current trajectory. Just a small insight into what Mom's Knife can do for you. Well, I'm just going to let my leech here just do everything. Okay. Because he does have that chance of healing me, I believe. So it's probably in my best interest to allow him the opportunity to do so. Whoa! 
I'm not sure how I got out of that without taking any damage, but I'll take it. Certainly some MLG level dodging skills were on display. Fully. Oh, I'm not liking the charging animation by this guy. I took out the last one of you in like one shot. I'm not really sure how that isn't the case now, but whatever. Just wait for the brain trails to dissipate, as always. And it is all for naught, as our final room is a dead end. But this is not always going to be the case, thankfully. Okay, this room is a little bit hairy. Just a little bit. Okay. I was trapped in a corner and probably had some unavoidable damage at that point, but as long as that is kept to not happening all that often, we should be fine. That room was very anticlimactic. I'm hoping that the boss room is down this path. It is. It is, in fact. If I went all the way down this path and there's like nothing down here, that would be really sad. So, since I have taken quite a bit of red heart damage, I'm not guessing that I will have a chance to go to um, Shale after this fight, but you never know. Could happen. So we will fight the uh, the new and improved mom's heart here. What? She's having eyes just pop up left and right? What's this all about? I probably don't want to stand like right there, but we are doing some very good damage with Book of Lyle. And we did get an angel room. Does this mean path to Shale? This means path to Isaac. Alright. Alright. We get to early Isaac opportunity. Angel rooms after the womb 2 all, always used to mean a path to shale, which made no sense, obviously. But we'll go ahead and do our first Isaac fight. If we can make it there without dying. Certainly not guaranteed, because uh, the cathedral can be a challenge. Although these enemies are not really that much of a challenge. So I'm not entirely sure why they're in the cathedral. But hey, maybe the cathedral was nerfed, because the cathedral always had like really, really difficult enemies. Except for the occasional gish room, of course. But I get to see if uh, the Isaac fight has changed at all. Oh, Eternal Leeches. You gotta hate them. No one likes them. Not even their own parents. It's really quite a sad tale. So unfortunately, you cannot cheese the Monstro fight anymore. Um, I've learned this recently. He won't do the thing where he just like brimstones you and looks side to side again and again and again. Doesn't work that way anymore, so there's really no sense in trying it. And so the fight becomes marginally more difficult, but it's still not that bad. That went okay. Any drop for me? A golden key. I think I was already fine when it comes to keys at this point, but we'll take it. And unfortunately, Isaac was not to the left. And he is also not to the, uh, the northern part, so he must be to the east. We have eliminated all other possibilities. Uh, okay, this, this, it looks like knights behave a little bit, oh my goodness, this is, oh my goodness, okay, all of a sudden we are looking in a really, really bad situation, I came across like one of the easiest rooms you can probably reach in the entire cathedral, and I took like four hearts of damage, I cannot fully explain why that is, oh my goodness, and I would take damage walking across the spikes, I'm gonna need a full health item here, the bean is not really such an item, Okay, well, we're pretty much dead at this point. Oh, took two hearts of damage due to spikes and like four hearts of damage due to knights. Come on, son. I'm clearly a novice. I would at least get. I like. I would like to die against Isaac, experience some honor, but that's not going to be the case. Man, that was really disappointing at the very end. I'm kind of pissed off, but whatever. Other than the fact well, that when I choked at the end, it was a good run. Got another Mom's Heart kill. Got Judas out of the way when it comes to Mom's Heart kills. Unlocked new items, so that's all good. I will see you guys with the next run next time. Farewell.